Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the most secure way to join or start a Google Meet with your students, meaning that your students are not going to be able to join that Google Meet without you being in there first. There are two ways to do this, either using a nicknamed Meet or your Google Classroom link. We're going to start with a nicknamed Meet. So to create a nicknamed Google Meet, you're going to go to meet.google.com you're going to click join or start meeting. From here, you're going to create your nickname. This is what you're going to give your students when they go to meet.google.com and log in using this nickname that you have provided. We are suggesting that you use something very specific so that you don't accidentally overlap with another teacher who might share your last name. So we're suggesting you use period, last name, and then room number. So if you have your first period, you'd put one, turn, 207. Then about five minutes before my period starts, I would do this, go to meet.google.com, put in the naming convention that I gave my students, and click continue. Once I click continue and start this meet, then the other students will be able to go and click one turn 207 and then they'd be able to join the meet they will not be able to join the meet unless you have started it first and then every day you're going to activate your this meet link the same exact way go to meet.google.com and put in your naming convention the other option and i know this is what a lot of people are doing is to use the meet link that is already created in your google classroom Google has made updates to this platform so that the kids cannot get in the meet unless you are in there first. So you don't have to really reset this link unless you choose to. You don't have to make it invisible unless you choose to. They will not be able to get into this meeting link unless you are in the meeting link. But it's very, very important to note that you cannot leave the students in this meeting link or in a Google Meet nicknamed link alone. You have to make sure that you are the last person to leave that meeting in order for it to be secure and safe. So once you get into your meeting, you'll see this blue shield down here. This is where you're going to turn off quick access because quick access means that the students are able to just join. By having quick access off, that will make it Kind of like a waiting room so you'll have to accept or admit any students a lot of teachers use this as an opportunity to take attendance it also makes it so an outside person who's trying to join your meet will not be able to because you would have to admit them which obviously you don't want to admit anyone that's not your student another thing that you should turn off is share their screen so by turning that off, that just gives you more control. The students are not going to be able to share their screen at any time that they want. If you want them to share their screen for something specific, then you can go over to your host controls when it's time for them to share and click that back on. But for now, we would want to keep that defaulted to off. Same thing with the chat messages. This is available for you to turn on or off. It's totally up to you if you want to have that on teacher discretion. But it's important to know you have to do this every single time you open a Meet. One thing you definitely do not want to do is to create a calendar invite with a student. When you create a calendar invite with a student, it is automatically going to create a video conferencing link. So if I am choosing, and let's say I'll use Jason as an example. So if I am creating this invite with Jason, You'll see here that this link is automatically generated. Okay? I don't want to have that link generated because at any given time, Jason, if he was a student, could just click join with Google Meet or he could save this link and activate it at any time that he wants. And once he's activated it, he can invite as many students as he wants to this link. So this is a definite no-no. We do not want to create calendar invites with students because it automatically will generate a random meet link that they will be able to join at any time and invite students. Another thing that we don't want to do is just create a random meet link. 
So if I do not add a specific nickname or code and just click continue, it's going to just create a random meet link, which is pretty much the same exact thing as creating a calendar random link. So the students would be able to copy and paste this link, save it, and then join it at any time. So we don't wanna do that as well. We hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to techtosa at ecstm.org.